Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today, my old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. Friends, this is where you see that some people are not grateful to their parents. Some people, instead of paying their parents with something good, appreciating their parents while they are grown, rather than doing that, they decide that they would rather hurt these people that brought them into the world. This will shock you hearing what this young man did to his own mother. The son has been identified as Ima and this happened in Delta State, Nigeria. It was actually gathered that this young man that I'm talking about right now, invited his mother, who is a petty trader, she sells stuff in the market, just to surprise her and said she should come over to his house. What do you expect a mother? Your son invites you, what would you do? You would go with all excitement and joy. To her, what she felt is her son had a surprise for her because he had not invited her like that to his house. And so it was a thing of excitement that let her go to her son's house. And when she came in, she heard a very loud music playing from his home where she was actually entering. You know, when someone is playing a very loud music, you don't even need to get into the house before you hear the music. That was how loud it was. Right from when she was stepping into the house, the music was sounding so loud. The mom was wondering, ah, probably her son is having a party. That's why he invited her over to his house. And after welcoming her, he then locked the door. As soon as the woman just stepped in, the next thing this guy did after locking the door was he started strangling her. Wow. The mom was so shocked. Like, you know, when you are taken on away, he didn't even wait for her to sit down. This happened right immediately she entered the house. And as he started strangling her, the next thing he started going to her eyes, trying to plug out her eyes. You can see that the mom's eyes are all swollen. In the bit of trying to do this, and you know the loud music, that's to tell you that this guy had planned this very neatly. And you know once the music is loud, even if you're passing, you would not hear. And the mom heard this music right from when she was getting into his house then you can imagine that a lot of people out there would not even hear her voice but the mom kept on screaming out very loud she was able to break free and ran out to neighbors who then rescued her her son ima was actually apprehended and you know what neighbors did they beat this guy they gave him the beating of his life and after he was beaten seriously, that was when they now invited the police to come. It's so painful and annoying. A lot of people in the community were all shocked and amazed. Like, this young guy, what are you trying to do? The suspect who earlier bragged that he was going to buy a Benz GLK this week. That was what he was telling people around the neighborhood, his friends. So when they saw that this guy was trying to strangle his mom and pluck her eyes. They now started recalling that this her son, the young man, was bragging and telling people that this week we are in right now as I'm speaking with you, that he's going to get the Benz GLK. How? They don't know. And he didn't tell them how he was going to get the money to buy the Benz. Isn't this very painful and annoying at the same time? A mother who gave birth to you, carried you for nine months. Are you not supposed to be assisting her at this time look at she is a petty trader still struggling and then this young man felt the best way for him to live his life was to acquire quick money and the only person he was asked to bring or to use for his ritual was his own mother look at the extent some people are ready to go all in the quest for money right now her son is being detained at the oreroke police station while his mother is receiving medical care at the hospital in Okokoko. Isn't this a very painful incident? But thanks be to Almighty God that the mom survived this whole horrible incident. And so sad that his mom 
sells food stuffs at the Okokoko market beside Okokoko police station. Isn't it so painful? Look at this a petty trader. Mrs. Oke, that's the mother, is from Odorubo in Ugeri local government area of Delta State. It's really sad that her own son would think of doing something like this. And the mom had some things to narrate. When she was taken to the hospital, the mom said that for some days now that her son has been boasting that he must drive Benz GLK this week. So on Tuesday at about 8 p.m., that was when the son had invited her to his house at Caroline Street in Okokoko that he had a surprise for her. That was what this young man told his own mother. And on getting there, that was when she saw her son in a joyous mood with loud music. You know, he was playing music, all excited, unknown to the mother that this boy had an evil intention towards her. And that was afterwards, as soon as she entered, he would now locked up the door and was trying to strangle her to death and even trying to plug out her eye when she started screaming for help. But due to the loudness of that music, there was no response from people. But strength came upon her from nowhere. That was when she now ran outside for help and neighbors came to her rescue. That was when the son was caught and was taken to the Oreroque police station. It's so sad that the son could think of something like this. Look at how bad things have gone to the extent that people will decide they are going to make money at all costs, irrespective of who is to be used for their rituals. You can see that his poor mother suffering and trying to make ends meet. Instead of this young man to go and think of how to get a job, you don't have to be qualified in education. If he was unable to get his certificate in school or he was unable to go to school, there are trades that he can learn. He can be an apprentice and start learning a trade. The quick money thing has led a lot of people into dipping their hands to horrible things. And that is why it's not good to ever envy anybody because you can never know the source of their wealth. Imagine now that this young man bought that message, this GLK. Friends, come to think of it, his friends will now see him and they'll be like, wow, look at this guy. He now drives a Benz GLK. How did he do it? I need to get my own. That is what happened. Another person would see him and be like, oh, this guy is making it in life. He's successful. Why am I not successful? Meanwhile, you don't even know how this guy got the money. Greed has led a lot of people into money rituals. Envy has led a lot of people into money rituals. You see people, you're envying them. You don't even know how they make this money. If this guy wasn't caught, I'm sure he would never ever let anybody know the source of his wealth. And his mom would go missing. They would now start looking for him. And if he's never caught, that is how the story would just die like that. He didn't even have human sympathy that this is a poor woman that is struggling for herself. There's a poor woman who gave birth to you. Is he not supposed to be assisting his mother with that petty trading market that she is actually doing? Please, if you're out there and this quest for money is eating you up, think twice before you carry out any action. And again, going to meet people to ask them, what is your source of wealth? Be very, very careful. Some people would not even tell their friends the source of their wealth. When they come to them and ask them what's the source of your wealth, they will tell them, all right, I will show you. At that point, it should ring into your head, show you, or instead of you telling the person there and there, this is what I do for a living, I am into this, I'm into that. They would rather lure you into that place and tell you no going back. And at that point, it's too late. It's either your life or you do exactly what you're told to do. Now, another thing that is raising alarm is, if you're a parent out there and you have grown-up men in the house that are not doing anything, please try as much as you can to talk into your son to find something doing. Otherwise, when they are idle and feeling so frustrated, they are ready to go to any length or any extent to get this money. And in the end, one family member or the other ends up paying for their price. That doesn't make any sense at all. So please, when you have grown-up sons in the house, 
try as much as you can to push them out there to go and fend for themselves. You have someone who is already 19 in the house and he's doing nothing. He's not going to school. He's not trading. He's just sitting down in the house. You have someone who is almost in his 20s, mid-20s. Some are even getting to 30. They are still in their parents' house doing nothing. Not because they are sick. Not because they have some disabilities. Nothing. They are okay. They are strong. But yet, they don't want to go out there and struggle. You need to call someone for help. Even people that are physically disabled, they are out there struggling and working and fending for themselves. How much more someone who is healthy and strong from his head to his toe and yet he's not ready to do anything. Parents, please be very, very watchful. It calls for caution because some people have lost their conscience. This Ima guy lost his conscience and that is the reason why he had to go to this extent. But all thanks to God that the mom survived it. It's really sad that some people are not ready to assist their parents. Instead, they want to use them for rituals. Friends, please, what do you think about this? If you have anything to say, go please put that down at the comment section. The quest for money has led a lot of people to do terrible things. They are not bothered if they are to use their own children if they are to use their own parents if they are to use their own siblings so long as they make this money they are satisfied but in the end some of these people is so bad that they even give them a time for them to leave they will tell them this is a duration and afterwards they will die they are ready to stay two years three years to be called rich people and afterwards they die so what's the gain in making that money what's the gain in killing someone with at the end, you would not even live to enjoy the money. And they are given very difficult tax. Why get into it? Some will be asked to go and sleep with mad women. Some will be asked to go and sleep at the cemetery. You could see some videos that I've actually posted where you see some young men taking a bath in the cemetery. All for money. All in the quest for money. The other day, some young men in broad daylight in the commercial streets was taking a bath with their native doctor and chanting and saying all things for them to carry out that bath in a dirty water out there all for the quest of money why are people doing all of this most times this money don't even last because some of them end up dying on time it's not better you use your hands to work a job that you know that will give you a clean source of wealth is it not better People have succeeded today. They didn't go through money rituals. Not everybody that are wealthy that had to go through money rituals. Some people tend to think that people that are wealthy today, some of them that you see out there are into money rituals. No, some people worked so hard for their money. Some people got into a lot of business. Some people suffered before they got to the point they are right now. Most times, this money don't last. And in the end, you may not even live to enjoy this wealth you think you have acquired. So at the end of the day, what have you gained? Instead, you have lost a lot. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.